I'm Frank Edelblum, Commissioner of Education, and we are at Rambling View Farm for our program, Agriculture in the Classrooms. And this is Daisy here, and Daisy has been pet most of the day by a bunch of fourth graders who are so happy to meet her. So we're excited to see the other programs they've got going here at Agriculture in the Classrooms. We started out talking about what agriculture is, how agriculture has already affected them today with their breakfast and they're wearing blue jeans and all right. that. We had a sheep shearing demonstration, which was which is very educational and entertaining because most of the kids have never Entertaining seen. being the yeah. emphasized the word there. The sheep, though, was very cooperative. Oh, that's so good. They, you know, most kids well have no sheep. idea where the bull came from, so they were all a rapt audience. Um, and now they're spending 15 minutes at a station and they move on, so they're talking more about wool, they'll learn about oxen, they'll learn about garlic, they'll, we have goats. Um, Belknap County Conservation District is here talking about soil conservation. So there's a whole variety of stations. So in the several hours that they're rotating through stations, they'll learn a lot. It sounds like a great program. It, it is. It gets to a lot of things. And we found and we try and incorporate history and some math and all that. So the teachers tell us it really coordinates with their curriculum and awesome. they can tie it directly into lessons. And so thank you. Yes, that yes. sounds great. I mean, that's our underlying goal. That uh, so. Let's go see some of these stations. Absolutely. We also can use these worms to eat our rotting fruits and vegetables and help us make a compost. We, I can put this in my house plant. I can put it out in my garden. If I dumped these worms out in my garden, though, they probably wouldn't last the winter because these are a special kind of worm. And that's something it, uh, that we've talked about, too, in agriculture, I mean, the study of, of different of raising animals and, and plants, the agriculture. Jake's busy. <laughs> no, Jake's a little time a little harder, probably. Jake, back. Keep going. Jake, back. We getting there. Come on, Jake, back. <laughs> listening. There we go. <laughs> Good job, Jake. Nice to meet you. Yep. So what we got going here? Oh, from, mo it. from old fashioned to modern, huh? You got it. Yeah. I mean. Got a, a wooden tab, right? 100 and something years old. Wow, that's kind of cool, huh? Yeah. Uh, all the way up through to ultra modern. The ultra modern, right? Exactly. Smaller than three or four. Yeah. So. I always wonder how the branches are. They take all that out when they fall out of the trees, but they probably do. Yeah, exactly. The squirrels are worse. Oh, is that what they chew? Yeah. I had to replace, I don't know how much, uh, last year. I actually just learned we actually have to pick up a chicken or get Yes, yes, there is a very special way. You, you pick them up by their feet, by their legs, and that helps them to relax and to know that they're okay. All right, and then you, you know, I'll, you'll see when I pick her up, and I'm, I'm going to pick her up, and I'll pull her close so you kids can pet her, because she's super soft. Go ahead. Yeah, I pet chickens all the time. Right? Mm -hmm. She's just cuddling. She is. She likes to cuddle. She's a cuddle bug. Well, you did a great job, because I'm observing the kids, and they were just, they were right there. Oh, you know? it's so much fun. I love doing this. Yeah. yeah. It's great for the kids. Yeah, it is. Answers. They need to know. They do, don't they? Yes, they do. Absolutely. <laughs> great. Well, thank you for doing it. Thank you. Yeah. Thank you for coming.